Hey guys, it's Shy and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are gonna put on false eyelashes together. I have gotten so many questions about how I put on my falsies and I really wanted to just do a dedicated video on it. So one of the first things that I do is I'll put on my mascara and while I put on my mascara, I will actually grab my lashes and these I'm just using are the Reina lashes from Yalord Lashes. I'm just gonna take off some of the old glue because I wore these yesterday. So let me take these off. Okay, so first thing when you take your lashes out of the package is you wanna put like test them to your eye because you may need to trim them. Um, for me, I have relatively large eyes like as well, far as like length. So um, I normally don't have to trim a whole lot, but you'll just measure it and then see how like these lashes have little like grooves in between them. You would wanna pick a groove and then clip it there. I prefer to clip like this area instead of the, the outer edge area. And the reason behind that is just because a lot of the lashes I buy flare out more towards the end. So I really don't want to destroy any of that, if that makes sense. So then the glue that I always use is this duo glue, um, just because it tends to hold my lashes in place pretty well. So I will paint on, and I will show you guys how much I paint on right now too. So you just paint it right onto the band, and this is what I paint on. So right now it's like very like almost kind of bluish looking, so I will set those off to the side. Um, and let them get tacky. That's one of the key things is to really let the lashes get tacky. Now I'm going to take just a lash curler and curl my natural lashes just to make sure that they are up when I put the mascara on so that they can easily blend with the falsies. Okay. Now to apply the mascara, I use the L Luminous Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. It is, in my opinion, one of the best mascaras ever. So let me just get my hair out of my face. So I put the mascara on first. And I blink when I do my mascara as well. So it really lifts the lashes up. My wig is still setting, so I'm like, I had to push her back down. I cannot find my headscarf anywhere, so we are just living on the struggle bus right now, hoping that she'll set. And then I do my bottom mascara at this point as well. Personal preference, I just do it all at once. Now, I really like to make sure that all my lashes are evenly coated because what I'm gonna eventually do is press my natural lashes into the false lashes. Now, if you're not used to putting lashes on, I suggest you grab a pair of tweezers. I'm just gonna use my nails. When I don't have my nails on though, I do use tweezers because it's really hard for me to just press it in with like my fingertips. So now you also wanna make sure you go like this with your lashes. So mine I've been using so they already have that eyeball shape, if that makes sense. Um, but sometimes they can be a little bit too straight coming out of the package. So really making sure you're doing that. Now if you're using lashes on a client, you obviously don't wanna blow on them. I would just wave them. If you're doing them on yourself though to help them get tacky faster, you can do a light blowing um, air on them and that'll help them get more tacky as well. Because you want them to be pretty tacky. Um, it helps so much more. So it's hard to kind of see it on camera because they are still kind of blue, but they are getting a lot more like translucent and that's why I know they're getting more tacky. So what I do is I start from my inner corner and I go to my outer corner just because that helps me set where exactly I want them. So setting down on the inner corner and going out. And then I'm using my nail to just make sure that it's in place of where I want it to be. Like that. 
Now, once you have it set, I take my finger and I press on the top of the lashes to make sure that it's secured down. And then I'm gonna use my nail, if you guys can see, to go like this to blend them in. Now, if you have tweezers, you can like just take the tweezers and go on the lash line. Now, be super careful when you do that because you don't wanna get your actual eyelid. That can be very um, painful. So just making sure you're going, taking your time like they're not gonna set in place immediately. So you have that time. And then that's it. So then you have your lashes. Now, I sometimes certain lashes, I'll go all the way in with them if I wanna be more dramatic. Most of the time though, see how I leave a little bit of space there? That's more comfortable for me. Um, I wear contacts a lot and I can't have anything tickle that area because my eyes will water quite a bit. Um, and I feel like it looks more natural without it. Now, if you are doing an eyeliner look, you'll want to do your eyeliner down first um, and then put your lashes on top. You can do liner after your lashes, but it's just not as successful because you can't really get in that space. Um, I don't tend to wear a lot of eyeliner because my eyes are pretty small this way. So I feel like eyeliner tends to make them look even smaller, which is the last thing I'm trying to do. So I just put my lashes down, but by pinching my natural lashes into my falsies, they look a lot more blended and I almost get the look of eyeliner right in through that spot. But anyways, guys, this is how I put on falsies. I, am, I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you guys have any questions, please let me know in the comment section below and if there's any other videos that you guys really want me to do. But thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.